Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel LB Lectures. In today's class, we will see what is density of the fluid. So before going to density of the fluid, first we will see what is density. So what is density? So density is also called as mass density. is defined as the mass per unit volume. So mass per unit volume of a fluid, we call it as density or mass density. That is mass of the fluid contained in one meter cube volume. We call it as density or mass density. And it is denoted by the Greek symbol rho. So mathematically, it can be represented by mass per unit volume. So the representation of mass is small m, volume is capital V. The unit of mass is kg. The SI unit of volume is meter cube. So the unit of mass density or density is kg per meter cube. So the density of the liquid may be considered as constant while the gases changes with variation of pressure and temperature. So the density of the liquids may be considered as constant, whereas the density of gases changes with variation in pressure and temperature. So here is the sum of the density value of some important fluids. So water has a density of 1000 kg per meter cube. Kerosene, which is an oil, has a density of 780 kg per meter cube. Gasoline has a density of 660 kg per meter cube. So next, with the help of a video, let us see how to measure density of a fluid. So density is defined as mass per unit volume. So density of water is 1000 kg per centimeter cube and density of Kerosene is 780 kg per meter cube. Sorry, density of water is 1000 kg per meter cube. So the density of oil is less than water because of the molecules that make up the oil is larger than water. So they cannot pack as tightly as water molecules. Hence the density of water is greater than density of oil. So next we will see how to measure the density of water. Take one empty beaker and weigh the mass of the beaker. Let it be 20 gram. Add 100 ml of water and then measure the mass of the beaker. Let it be 120 gram. So to find the mass of the water, subtract the mass of the water in the beaker to the empty mass of the beaker. So that is 100 gram minus 20 gram giving you a value of 100 gram. So that is 120 gram minus 20 gram is 100 gram. So the volume of water is 100 ml. Density of a substance is its mass per unit volume. So the density of water is 1 gram per milliliter or 1000 kg per meter cube. And the density remains same for a particular material irrespective of earth gravity. So the density remains constant irrespective of earth gravity. Say for example, the volume of a fluid is 100 ml and mass of the fluid is 100 gram means density is mass by volume. So 0.1 kg divided by 0 0.001 meter cube will be giving a value of 1000 kg per meter cube, which is the density of standard fluid water. That is, if you are writing 100 gram in kg means it is 0 0.1 kg and 100 ml in meter cube means it is 0 0.001 meter cube. So, this simplification will be giving you a value of 1000 kg per meter cube, which is the density of water and it remains same with the respective of Earth's gravity. So, thanks for watching our channel LB Lectures. Please like. Comment, share and subscribe for further updates.